Lana Rhodes. That name brings shivers down to a certain lower body part in men. Many have a relationship with this woman, but aren't aware how profound she was in their life. When men were faced with lonely nights, they always had her for some company. To assist them in the hard journey by the name of life. She was like a rental town bicycle rode by everyone. It may come to question who hasn't rode Lana Rhodes. JK, it's you. The person she spent the most time with under the blanket. In summary, she's just a hoe. In the second testament of the adventures of Lana, she was like the Virgin Mary, but far, far from a virgin, who gave life to a baby boy by the name of GM um, Milo. If you ever thought beating Minecraft Hardcore was a challenge, a heavy task with the risk of failure, your Minecraft Hardcore experience is nothing but a pebble of the hardcore life Milo has got ahead of him. Imagine one day of the dudes which were regular viewers of Lana Rhodes, in this day and age somehow managed to find a loyal wife. They have a kid, the kid grows, they realize having a child is a pain in the ass, as they are called to the parent-teacher meeting. All of the parents line up in order to have a word with the teacher. And she's there. The woman who single passingly carried your ass through high school. Sorry guys, I cannot continue this simulation for any longer because I'm actually feeling second heart embarrassment. Like, imagine everyone, including the kids, because they probably have like an iPhone 20 at that point, and already had a one-to-one -one meeting with Lana Rhodes. Ugh. Poor kid. One day Milo, Lana Rhodes' baby, is going to get a pat on the ass from his classmates, and just his classmates playing a video of him being made on his phone. I have 100% certainty he will suffer some serious bullying in school. Like imagine despite her giving birth to a child, she proceeds to post nudes and nude pictures on the internet. That's just asking for a kid to be bullied. And if you won't send him into school, he'll end up like all the other boys in Ohio, except he's going to be an outcast. Drinking at a bar. Imagine 12 year old Milo grows his first pube on the balls and just gets the urge to rub in a quick one. He goes in a hub, he skips the intro, finishes, and then the girl in the video turns around and guess what? He busts to his mother. He spawned in in a mode beyond hardcore. The way we know hardcore right now should be considered softcore. Sorry. That sounds weird. <laughs> what I'm trying to say, the life of the baby of Lennon Rhodes deserves a category way above hardcore. Imagine in like 20 years time he's trying to apply for a job somewhere, and the employer was just too busy getting off to his mom since she's the first thing which popped up after googling Milo's name. And boy, if he ever gets the courage to look up his mom's names on YouTube, I'm, I'm not sure what's worse really, you would just find multiple videos, multiple podcasts of her describing what the perfect cock is. Imagine he's in high school, he's just walking down the hallway, and somebody just says, Bro, your mom? Oh man, you better invite me to your house for a sleepover one night, maybe. So I shall proceed to do what I did last night. Like for once something occurred, that I'm actually glad to be alive at this day and age. I just can't wait seeing this big guy growing up. For some reason I have this feeling that all the snowflakes, which are so open-minded to the point their brains are falling out, are going to like come up with an excuse to call Anna Rose a good mother, a good hard-working woman, <laughs> and trying to convince the world that there's nothing wrong. And there's no reason to make fun of her or the child. Like, usually I'm against bullying, but if it's the Lana Rhodes baby, like, I'm sorry. There are excuses. I'm pretty sure bullying the Lana Rhodes baby can be outlawed. For instance, if the Lana Rhodes baby classmates just bullies him, they both go to the principal's office, what happens? So basically, he's a child of Lana Rhodes. That's self-explanatory. Goodbye. I'm actually quite worried, but not worried at the same time because it's not really my business. I'm just excited for my future for once, just to witness the event of the Lana Rhodes baby finding out his mother's career. But guys, I also have other videos on this channel, if you would like to check them out, please do. Usually my videos aren't about babies of corn stars, that's not what I do here. I don't know, just go down to my channel, I'm pretty sure there's at least one video you'll somewhat enjoy. And let's be honest here, you're already wasting your time, you're already watching YouTube, and you're probably going to watch TikTok or YouTube shorts after. So you might as well support me. That is a bad campaign. I should become president, but yeah. Goodbye, guys. Have a good one. And now, Milo, let's go in for a little meeting with your mom.